Hey you guys, I brought pancakes. Um You guys? Hello? Anyone here? Hey guys, and welcome to the next episode of my talk show, and I'm back. Yar chat me, the con returned. So, um, let's talk about this thing, okay? So a few weeks ago, Yar chat implemented the anti-cheat program that started the huge second war of Yar chat. First was the the ranks from back in 2019. Um, so basically, Discord exploded on the server um, from VR to themselves. They got docs, they got death threats, they, they got leaked information, and then everyone hates reviewed them on Steam. They all went to Chilla VR and Neil's VR. Reddit was full of people complaining. Then, of course, Twitter. People left. Few people on my friend list left. Some people were angry and of course some people needed these mods for um, accessibility reasons so let's say it was an entire drama and then of course the first week the criminals had free time so they had fun it's over now it's fine but a lot of change since um, I did that stream and it's time that we we'll talk about it in this talk so first of all if you play VR chat and you still care you need to remove the mods like completely wipe off completely delete lemon loader and melon loader and all that stuff and do a clean upgrade from vr chat and then of course you need to understand that the anti-cheat program will be live as always so you need to trust that it runs on your computer and importantly use the open beta not the public one use the open beta we get every week a huge beta with tons of mods that I recommend you install um, a few of these things that VR should add is a personal mirror then something for your face so you know what your face expression is in the corner hand gesture so it shows like little hand gloves thingies what it does it has extra features in the camera like recording, well, taking pictures up to 8K on desktop and 4K on Quest. If you turn your camera in portrait mode, you take portrait mode pictures instead of turning them around in Windows. You get some special features in the audio section where um, you can increase or decrease your mic sensitivity. And uh, you can put noise compression on, something that the uh, Discord has. If you click on this, my computer fan blow, you should not hear it this feature on there's also earmuff mode if i turn it on it shows like a circle around me don't know it shows on the camera it does you can keep it on or off forever like a circle and the bottom is just headphones meaning everyone around the circle is normal everyone away from the circle is muted then of course we got some forced camera features where um, normally if you get close to someone or something it just clips away but with this bottom on you can go go as close as possible it's good if you want to hug people or cuddle with people or really want to look at a text on a wall but it gives you a warning that it might do something bad in some very unoptimized worlds I tested it zero problem ignore it there's also a button that I can only show my avatar friends around in this case 20 meters from me so if I go far away it just becomes like it loads up the computer to increase frame stuff your home world you can now choose for the bottom what kind of instance you want from invite plus friends friend plus and even public there's a button now where it stops turning on cloning by default so technically if someone's oh I want that avatar can I clone that Sure, you turn on cloning, someone clones it, and you forget, you go to the next world, and someone else clones the model that you don't want to. Well, no worries, it automatically goes off. So with this feature on, you still have to manually turn on cloning, but if you leave the lobby, it turns them off. 
by safety reasons, which is also good. There is um, horizon adjust, so basically uh, like I'm from when you're laying down and you turn the menu, it's in front of your face instead of always on the same position. And you can grab it, you can put the menu wherever you want, that's also pretty good. There's an, the first anti crasher is built in called limit particles, meaning if an avatar goes beyond the VR chip norm of normal particles, it just doesn't work. You know, crashes used to spam you with particles and then your computer crashes. That's the first one. And I hope they have like a shader limit and something like that, but that's a good beginning. Uh, next up is the... Um, let's see, uh, the rest is in the quick menu. The other features that we got are um, a full body mirror thingy. So just like a personal mirror. It follows you. So if you walk away, it follows you like a creepy thing. It's disturbing. I don't like it. So it's there, but I'll probably still click on buttons or use the classic portable mirror. Soon they have favorite increase up to 450 favorite friends and then double for worlds and 50 avatars for free people and 300 avatars for VRChat Plus users. So in my opinion, they're doing a lot of great stuff. They have text to stats ready, which is like a typing thing, and you can text people with the name tags. The new menu is out very soon. So, VRChat responded very poorly when this happened. I cannot justify what happened. I agree. They should have implemented these features first, and then the anti-cheat while killing the mods. So, they didn't care too much about us. But at least they realized that VRChat was actually dying and, you know, their investors were this, um, not agree on that. So they quickly added all these old mods into features. We're around the 20 plus features now in like two weeks. And we get these every week. So every week I get a beta update and then BAM! More features. And then the week or two after it gets released to the rest. Some of the things I just said are not available in public. Some, what I said, will be available this week, and the rest is in the beta. But, so far so good. I really like these features. I still miss a few of my mods, but the list is already getting smaller, but now with these spammed features. It's color name tags, the EMM panel, where I can see who is the lo the, in the instance, the lobby leader crown, and flight that's literally all that I still care about the rest is now built in so my list is just four items now but it's also like a dark side the, the features are really great it's really good but VR chat is now in a different state with less people playing the game mostly PC users left they went to chill VR and EOS um, so it's you know not as many people are online anymore it's also great for worlds like the, the Great Park. So I can confirm Great Park is still a, is now a good place to be in. Black Hat got no title, that's why I'm here. Black Hat is now the worst place on VRChat to be in. Because, you know, the quest people were not affected with this update. I want to do this talk to say that I decided not to leave VRChat. I decided to stay here, not go to Chill VR. Because it's not good. I'm sorry, Chill VR is not good. You know why? Because you need a lot of players and a lot of experience from the developers to be useful. And Chill VR can be the most optimized, beautiful VR to copycat there is, but without the amount of player base and loyalty that we have here in VR chat, it's dead. With like a handful of worlds, a handful of avatars, the menu is still complicated. No. I'm sorry, Neos VR is like a different thing, you have like a niche thing, if you're not in this niche thing, you don't belong there. So, it's like a very specific type of player base, which is good for them, but not for the rest of us. So I stay in VR chat, and I missed being here, and I will continue making more videos in the future, finishing off season 5 in VR chat, and of course streaming in VR chat. VR is my passion. Even with this big mistake that they made with the anti-cheat program and the way they really 
put a knife in our back as gamers, especially the VR Plus users. I there yeah i mean i hope they learned their lesson i hope they did because developers any kind of developer that watches my video for whatever game you are we have like this game like this um yeah this developer who may who was going to make a game about like a girl going to school he she fell in love with a guy and she needs to take she needs to like get him this developer delayed the game for so much and is actually not good as a person. So that's a great example, but not to do. A developer makes a game, especially a community game for the community. So they need to listen to the community, not push them off a cliff and just let them do, let them go. So I hope they learn now. Next time, if you introduce a feature that will piss off a lot of people in your player base, First, give something in return first. Give them something. Give them these cool replacement features. The way I would have done it, if I was a developer of VRChat, I would have said two weeks ago the same thing. Like, hey, we're going to introduce anti-cheat, we're going to kill off Melon Loader and EMM and all that stuff, and all the mods will be deleted. But that's for a few months from now. Right now, We'll open, a, we'll open like a, a poll, a thread, a channel where you can give feedback of all the things you want. And between today and then, we have like a special team reserved for them. They will look at the They will look at the tab. They will add as much features as they can and release them through the months. So by the time then the deadline gets here and the anti cheating is installed, it just like a little wave instead of a spike that's how i should have done it listening to the community slowly add the features in advance and tell this thing months before it would happen they would have you should have told this thing like a few months ago in may or something that would have prevented 99 percent of the misery so it is kind of empty now in this game there's still people playing the game it's still not as safe as before but I'm fine, so it's perfectly fine for you. And like I said, if you have the open beta installed, you get a huge update a week. Like every single week, you get like 10 more features. So, this is Jamie from Jamie's Place, signing off this talk episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And see you next week when I unbox the Fossil Watch Gen 6 smartwatch. Running Wearers 2. See you next week for that. This is Jamie from Jamie's Place. Stay hydrated, eat your cupcakes, and take care. Bye-bye.